What's up guys? So I was out for a nice drive and I decided that it'd be good a good time to do a review on a Speed by Design Turbo Kit. So I finally installed it. This is what it looks like. Pretty clean. Um, I've put about 500 miles on it and so far no problem, no heating issues or anything like that. I am getting it tuned through um, like open flash tuning so it's on a tablet and they send me the th uh, the tunes and I have to data log them so it's not like uh, dino tune or anything it should be putting out it's running 10 psi right now so it should be uh, putting out about close to 300 wheel horsepower I, I estimated about like 270 or so from like feeling it but yeah so it looks pretty good it's uh this is the this is by Speed by Design. It's a pretty cheap kit. It's about three grand compared to anything else. It's pretty cheap. So some of the things that actually you have to put in consideration when buying this kit is um, you have to buy um, wrap, of course, to wrap it right here. You can see the exhaust, or can you? Uh, right there, and the header down there because it comes with one. So. Uh, needed to buy these clamps I had to buy different ones because these are two um I mean the ones on there were pretty cheaply made that has to be hold on tighter so um also you have to when you're trying to buy and when you're gonna buy this kit you have to buy a um a valve from an STI it's oh god I'm trying to show but it's way too dark right there if you can see it right there yeah you have to buy one from the STI because that one won't hold the PSI other than that also another okay so when installing it I was gonna install it myself but I ran out of time I have school and all that kind of stuff so I didn't get to do it um but I had a local shop do it and just to estimate how much it costs and stuff is um it was thousand or nine hundred bucks to install plus the little parts, and the pro the problems that they ran into are um, if you look actually you can't see it but behind the turbo right there is uh there's the oil feed line flange kind of thing and apparently it wasn't um it started leaking because it was. I don't remember if it was cracked or something like that, but Speed by Design is actually, their customer service is unreal, so they they literally overnighted another part. Anything that uh, is their fault, they will overnight you no problem, unlike some other companies that have problems with everything. They, um, they will overnight and they will send you whatever part breaks, which is awesome, and yeah that's that's a big plus for them and another thing that I they ran into is if you look down there you can't really here focus focus if you look down there and you look at that right there the the down pipes if you look at the gasket it's like this black kind of like gooey thing right there that's because these didn't line up they actually didn't line up very well so the gasket that they provided would not um would not fit correctly like it would they, I had a pretty much an exhaust leak so they bought that that was like 20 bucks instead of just like having them send us all that stuff we just did that and it worked out pretty well but those are pretty much the two problems that I ran into and I would highly I, it is a pretty easy kit to install like I was gonna do it myself but I'm kinda happy glad now that um I had professionals do it because I really do not feel like I would wanna like work on all those problems and it would probably take me way longer and even though it did take him much longer it was like a week and it's pretty good so so far there's no um overheating issues I'm on my fourth tune so it's still in the process but I am hitting full boost and everything everything's fine so this is what the intercooler looks like if you ever wondered it's kind of off-centered if you look at it it's because I guess they say so you can fit uh, an oil cooler right there but I don't know it's kind of weird funky looking but I will probably be getting an oil cooler I am 
I want to do some autocross this summer. We have some going on locally. So I'll probably do that. And yeah, um, what else am I forgetting? Yeah, so oh, actually just to talk about the kits. So you can get these. These come in black or blue. Uh, or blue. I decided blue. And then you have a lot of different colors for the blow off valve. And you can pick whatever you want. It is, I think, gold, blue, red, purple, and all that. Um, what else? Oh, so the kit with the intercooler doesn't, um, you can't see it because it's behind the bumper, but the um, stock crash beam does not um, work anymore. It's too fat, so I, I'll probably have to be getting a drift, uh, drift bar soon, so it's just a little bit safer and all that. So... Yeah, it's a pretty simple kit. What else am I forgetting? Comes with a turbo blanket, which I was happy about. Actually, wasn't I didn't think it was included. Yeah, but so far it's pretty good. So just to put in consideration, oh, like these ones right here. I think these are the stock ones, the clamps that they gave us. But see how much like beefier these ones are. That's what they had to switch, and then the gasket, and then uh, there's a little leak. But that's about it. Let me just, I'll start it up and show you guys what it sounds like. <laughs> So it runs pretty quietly, it's not bad. It is a really tight fit if you look. But that's how it is, this car's not supposed to be turboed. And yeah. All right, so I'll have more videos coming soon. I'm pretty, uh, turning into, <laughs> Wow, can't speak today. Yeah, I'm gonna be turning this uh, channel into more of like a car channel. I'll be doing some autocross, I'll probably record that. I'll have some parts coming in soon. And yeah, so if you guys like it, subscribe if you want more videos, like, whatever. Um, and yeah, I'll probably include in this video, I don't know yet, but I might have a sound clip in the end, so. If there is one, good. If not, then sorry. But, alright. Hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you.